making my way downtown, riding my ass through some grass real fast. Doodly doodly do. Doodly doodly do. Um, I kind of wanted to just kind of talk to you guys about like where I've been like in my headspace for uh, like riding bikes lately. Um, I've kind of been going back and forth about what I really want out of a, a motorcycle or a two-wheeled vehicle in general. Um, that's why I bought that electric XP because I wasn't really certain which kind of motorcycle I wanted. But I wanted something new. I wanted to go off-road. I wanted to ride. But I was kind of getting burnt on off-roading on the Versus. It was uh, becoming a little difficult just to kind of keep the thing clean as I wanted it on like my normal like going to the mountain rides, but then also off-road it. Like having that do-it-all machine wasn't really working for me in particular. So I um, bought that bike and it's been great off-road. It's been super fun. It's really doing what I need it to do. But on the other hand, I've been trying to decide like where to go from there. Um, and long story short, I really decided that the next motorcycle for me, I decided wanted to be a full dresser, like ADV machine, or like a big ADV machine, um, kind of something that's more off-road purpose driven. Um, so the kind of things that were on the table were, I'm just like taking a walk here while we do this, but uh, the things that were on the table were the Triumph Tiger 800 XC, uh, the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled, um, the... Uh, um africa twin obviously is up there is a good option um and then i'm kind of looking at the triumph bonneville scrambler the new one that's like tall and jacked up and um kind of more purpose driven um you guys will recognize this spot from some of my off-road uh versus videos but um yeah those are the bikes that are on the table but i'm not ready to pull the trigger on any of those bikes yet i just wasn't quite there yet um whether it was like like financially or just like my headspace i haven't really decided on one so i don't want to rush out and buy a bike that expensive and then decide that i want like a different one like buy the desert sled and decide that i want the ducati or or buy the, they're the same bike uh buy the ducati desert sled then decide that i want the triumph tiger or the uh, scrambler or you know buy the africa twin which is super baller and it's kind of like top of the list right now it's number one right now and then decide that like i wasn't super about it um I do miss that, like, or I don't miss it because I'm still doing it, but I do really enjoy that off-roading. Um, but on the other hand, I really like cruising. I like having a simple bike to ride around on. Um, some of the things that I wanted out of that bike were, it wanted it to be air-cooled if possible. I really want an air-cooled machine. Um, and I really would like something with a low seat height. And all of these things aren't really going hand-in-hand -hand with ADV riding. Um, they're all kind of pitching a different direction. Well, there are some air-cooled bikes out there. Um, there's some stuff that kind of fits the bill with simplicity like the klr the dr those kind of bikes but then they're really tall and like you know going off road doesn't really usually signify something low um so i was having a hard time just kind of deciding what i wanted to do and make the right choice so ultimately what i ended up deciding is the best course of action is to not have one do-it-all bike but to have multiple bikes <laughs> which you probably saw coming but i've decided that the electric xp is going to be for now um my off-road machine um it's what I'm going to go exploring on. I'm actually, some of these tracks are probably me because I brought it in here not too long ago. Um, which I'll probably bring it back later, right up and down these hills. This is dope. The camera makes everything look smaller, but riding up this is pretty steep. Um, I don't know if walking down it will kind of show you how steep this is, but um, taking the bicycle down it was pretty gnarly. It was fun. Um, so that's something I'm going to do. And then I need to have a road bike, obviously, because I commute to work. I go on long motorcycle trips. So what I'm looking for in a motorcycle for that is something that's um, low seat height, comfortable to sit on for a long period of time preferably air-cooled and just super stylish styles for miles it doesn't need to go off-road or be super aggressive because eventually the africa twin or tiger or scrambler or desert sled or whatever they are gonna uh, fit that bill so three bike system comfy cruiserish thing to uh, ride around on and commute on and take trips on ADV bike for like big trips, adventure trips, and going off road, and then the electric XP for just bopping around, getting a little exercise, doing more of this technical light bike stuff. Like I wouldn't really want to come down to what is a school and ride my uh, Africa Twin or whatever down this all the time. But I want to do this stuff often. I want to go to single track. I want to have more of that fun. Um, so I need to have a bike for that. So. Um, I 
we'll go ahead and let you in on the fact that I've already secured that bike and let's just go ahead and show you what it is like no more waiting you guys know what I'm after and I'm gonna show you the bike and you let me know if I hit the nail on the head here we go so this is it all those considerations uh, taken into account this is what I came up with uh, this is a cemetery which I don't want to go in but I'm gonna stop near it so we can chat about it um, this is the new bike the perfect thing to add to the stable is I don't know if you can hear my music so I'm gonna turn this down um, the perfect thing to add to the stable I decided was uh, 2014 Triumph Bonneville T100 um, it kind of just checked all the boxes um, it does have a little oil cooler but air cooled essentially no radiator um, it is um, got a lower seat height it's really easiest to hop on and cruise around on nothing terribly crazy it has styles for miles um, it sounds good. It has an aftermarket exhaust on it, which normally I like to buy an aftermarket exhaust. You guys know I like to put a Two Brothers exhaust on everything. But this one sounds so good that I might just let it ride. Um, just everything was right about it. The price was right. It all kind of came together. Um, the mares on it I like. Uh, they're aftermarket. The turn signals I do not like. I like the way they look, but they're honestly pretty ass. Like, you can't see them. Um... The guy that had it before me did up this like cafe racer build, kind of tried to make it look like a throw stand, but also put like a zillion of those Triumph uh, like Union Jack logos like all over it. I'll roll in a picture here so you guys can see, or several pictures so you guys can see kind of what it looked like. But that British shit was all over it. It looked so tacky. Um, so I had to strip all that off. I got rid of the seat cowl on the rear. Um, it didn't have passenger pegs. It had little deletes that were also British flags. Um, so I had these pegs left over from that ruckus that I was building or built. I guess I finished and then sold it. But um, they were supposed to be like just kind of like your highway peg kind of things for the ruckus. But I never installed them. So I made them work on here with a little fab work. Um, they don't fold up like your standard pegs would for a passenger. But they get the job done. Um, of course it's me. So I'm going to modify this bike some more. Um, it already has a tail tidy look fender delete, which I don't really like, but I'm going to let it ride. Um, so the things that are coming soon for sure is engine guard, new turn signals. Um, I'm going to put a king and queen seat on it, I think. Um, a little fly screen just when I'm on the highway. It's not trying to blow me off of it. And I have some like bookmarks of little sissy bars. Um, that will mount there. Um, I don't really. Sh I'm not really sure how they're gonna mount, so I have to like really check it out. Hopefully, the modifications that guy made didn't remove the part that those mount to. I got that all clear. Good. Um, the reason I want to get that little sissy bar is not only so a passenger has a backrest, but so I can put my duffel bag on it. I have a duffel bag that slides over a sissy bar, and then just either sits on a rack on the rear or on the passenger seat. Um, I have that luggage. I don't have a cruiser, so I haven't been able to use it. So I want to put that back to you. So I'm just gonna get. All those parts to make that work so that my luggage is solved because all the hard luggage will be staying on the versus so this bike's gonna have nothing for like carrying my lunch or whatever um obviously i already put my little duck on there because he's gonna come everywhere with me but yeah it should be a little like a really chill build just a couple bolt-on mods and i'll be really happy with it it'll be my bop around um i'm kind of going for like a classic touring style situation where um you know, just some soft luggage, a classic bike, and just hit the road, do some miles. Um, this bike is kind of interesting. It doesn't have like necessarily uh, like a choke, but it does have like an like an idle razor, even though it's fuel ejected, uh, to make it uh, kind of idle faster when it's starting. And then you just pop that in. It goes back down into a humble little purr. Um, they Triumph um, is they. They made the fuel injection look like a carburetor to keep the classic lines, which is um, kind of strange, but also interesting, I guess. It looks like every Triumph before it. Um, but like honestly, like I said, sounds good. Um, I am super happy with the bike. Uh, parallel twin, 900 cc's, air cooled, pretty low seat heights, making about 62 horsepower and somewhere in the 50s for torque or something like that uh not a lot but not a little um it has more horsepower than the versus but a little less torque 
I don't know the specifics, nor do I care the specifics. They, it has enough. Um, on the Versus, one of the things I hated was a keyed gas cap. So it's kind of cool that this one just comes from the factory without one. Um, I know people like protecting their gas. I don't. I just don't like having to put a key in to get gas. I like to pull up, turn my bike off, just thread, go, bam. Like, I like it to be quick and easy. Um, I did realize that the horn on this bike does not work. Um, oh, it does work now. It works now. Before, it did not work. Um, now it works. It's just really weak, um, which makes me think maybe water got in it. Um, that is something I've had happen before, water getting a horn, then it doesn't really work super well until it dries out. Um, and since it is a custom build with things moved and whatnot, or not necessarily a custom build, but a modified bike, things aren't quite, or quite where they should be. So water getting into a place it shouldn't be um, is not completely out of the uh, ordinary. Um, but yeah, this is the new bike. I am stoked on it. I am not going to talk your ear off a ton about it, but just wanted to really give you guys like a little once over on it and show you that some more interesting videos are going to be coming soon. Um, this bike is going to be my everyday rider for a while. My little bop around, my adventure bike, my tour, like everything is going to happen on this uh, Triumph for a while. Um, there may still be some versus content popping up here and there, of course, because you guys need it. But for the most part, it's going to be a whole lot of Triumph going on, a whole lot of the electric XP going on, a whole lot of me running this light because this is bullshit. Um, let's do that. One of these guys. There we go. Woo! Um, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about me, the channel, the Triumph Bonneville T100, fire off below in the comment section, which is where comments go, of course. Um, please hit thumbs up on this video if you enjoy the content. I love seeing those thumbs up numbers grow. Every video is getting more thumbs up than the last video, and that's sick. And if you haven't yet, please go ahead and click subscribe, because I love watching my subscriber count grow. It is awesome. Um, I'm super stoked to keep bringing you guys content and hopefully you're having a great day. I know it is cold as hell everywhere right now, but if you can, get out and do a little bop around, put some miles on your bike. If you don't have a bike yet, maybe watch some vlogs and get an idea of what bike you do want to get. And that's it for this one, y'all. Have a good day. Peace.